Hi guys, this is a skier task guide for safe corridor. For this task, you have to eliminate 10 scavs in the underground warehouse on reserve. So here's the map of reserve and for this task, we do have to go down into the underground bunker in order to kill scavs and or glue her. If he does happen to be down there, he also counts. So there are four actual extracts to get down into the bunker area. And I will show you guys quickly at the start of the video, the four different areas on where the entrances are. For this guide, I will be showing you guys clips of me entering in via two different entrances. So the first one's gonna be underneath the bunker hermetic door. And then the second one is gonna be at the one just next to the K trains by the black and white night buildings. All right guys, so I'm here in reserve and I am down on the far end of the K train buildings area. And then just so you guys have some points of references, that's where the dome is. This is where white King is or where the armored train comes to. And then this is where the hermetic door extract is. So this is one of the four ways to get down to the bunkers, just going in through that door and then downstairs. And then another way is just right over here. And I will show a picture of what it looks like from the other side of this K train landing, just so that you guys know. So now I will bring you guys over to the last two ways to get down into the underground bunker, one of which we will be taking for this task guide. So as you can see in front of me over top of this green truck, there is a red light. That is gonna be the bunker hermetic door. And then the red light signifies that it is not open at the moment and then over on the far right side of this bunker is the other way down so you just follow the ramp down and then turn left whereas on this side when you go underneath the hermetic door then you go down the ramp and then take a right so before you get down to the bottom of the ramp and then go around the corner you should know the glue her or glue car however you pronounce it he does have a chance to spawn down here so if you go around the turn too aggressively or too carelessly then you will be dead by either him or his guards before you even have a chance to know what's going on so basically once i make sure that he hasn't spawned down here then i just move forward looking left and right scanning the area to see where the scabs have spawned because they can spawn there on the left where that guy just got domed at but they can also be as close as where that stop sign is that i just passed so just be aware of that but they can theoretically spawn anywhere in this underground area all the way to the very back down that bottom ledge there so you will see that later on in this video basically i'm just listening for audio cues because usually the scavs down here are quite loud and will give away their position even though they do do that it is still very difficult because it is quite dark so i would definitely recommend bringing in like an x400 flashlight because it is very difficult to see them at times now you will see me move up and then to the right in between the two caged in areas the psp1 and two keyed area and then shut the door over there and then go across and then shut the door on the other side the reason why i do this is just for audio cues because scavs can spawn on the outside of those doors and then walk their way in so then if i am close to that area with my back turned to it then i just like to have the audio cue that signals that somebody open up the door behind me and then that way there i won't get shot in the back unexpectedly so usually whenever I do this task, I do stick around for 10 to 15 minutes down here. So I have had it before where I come down and kill one scav. And then after 10 minutes, then three more scavs make their way down. They either spawn down there or they make their way down from up on the surface level. So typically I will bring my PSP one and two or PSV one and two keys so that I can loot a little bit and then get some food or get some tech items while I am waiting for them to have a second spawn wave. However, if you don't like to sit around and wait for the potential second wave that may or may not happen, I don't blame you. Some people like to come to reserve and then they like the PVP and then also to full send the raiders down in the other bunker. So as long as you don't mind potentially having to come back to reserve a couple extra times, then that is definitely an option also. So hopefully from the gameplay in the background, you guys are getting a better idea as to where the scavs could be when you are down here trying to do this task. So now I will show you guys a clip where I ended up coming down from a different entrance and then running into Gluhar and his guards. And then hopefully that will also help you in case you run into the same situation. So I will show you guys how to get down to the underground bunker by this entrance closest to the K buildings. So I was just messing around in this raid with the Lapua and ended up being met by one of Gluhar's guards down here in this stairwell. And more often than not, Gluhar is down here in the underground bunker and one of his guards will be waiting for you in the stairwell and honestly if you are going to fight him in the bunker this is probably the best way to go about fighting slash pushing him because you will have a lot of right hand peaks and then you can also sound horror your way down to him pretty much as long as you have grenades then usually you can aggro him enough that he will push into you and then you will have an easy shot while he's sprinting now the other thing that a lot of people probably don't know is that guards and scav bosses do count towards tasks for killing scavs so where you have to kill 10 scavs in this underground bunker as long as Gluhar and his guards are on the bottom floor of this area, then anything that you kill in along this bottom bunker will count towards the task, including Gluhar. 
So you will see in this clip that by killing Gluhar plus his guards and then also the scavs that push me from the left hand side over from the black and white knight area that I believe I kill something like seven or so different AI. So all of those different scavs would count towards the task and where you only have to kill 10 and normally only one to four spawn down here and that will be a huge advantage in getting this task completed. And the main thing to remember when you are fighting the AI in this game, whether it be bosses, regular scavs or rogues or guards, is that you don't want to over peak or over commit yourself and then hang out for too long. You want to kind of go out, take your shots. If you miss back off for a few seconds, reset, and then use your right angle peak again in order to take advantage and kind of break that game mechanic. But you especially want to be cautious of that when you are dealing with Gluhar and his guards. And the scavs that you have to kill that are down here in this area are normally quite annoying because they will be hiding in the darkness and just kind of lurking there like legit rats. And then you won't be able to see where you're exactly getting shot from so just remember not to over peak and then they won't head eyes you and then send you back to the lobby for you to reset and then come back and do this task over again hopefully you guys found this guide useful and did help you complete this task thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and have a fantastic rest of your day